Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <coughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the fairy village. Father's Day. <sniffs> Happy Father's Day, Papa. I made you breakfast. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Look at your card. To the nicest Papa in the world. How sweet. And no work for you today. You get the day off. That sounds good. But what shall I do? You can play. Who will I play with? The other daddies, of course. It's Father's Day for every daddy. Morning, Dad. Breakfast. Oh, what a lovely card, Ben. It's a picture of me waving from the elf truck. <gasps> the truck! I've got to make my food deliveries! No, Mr Elf. You've got the day off. But, but... Don't worry. Someone else is doing your deliveries. Oh, really? Who? Food delivery! Come and get it! What? Nanny Plum? Hello, Mr Elf. I'm in charge of your deliveries today. So you just sit back and relax. Sit back and relax with Nanny doing my deliveries. Where's the brave? Oops! Oh, dear. Morning time. Hey, what? Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Ah, breakfast in bed. If only every day could start like this. But every day does start like this. You always have breakfast in bed. Ah, yes. Read your card, Daddy. You're the best daddy in the universe. <laughs> and today, you can do whatever you like. Yes, you're not the king today. You're just my daddy. Marvellous. Now, make sure Mrs Fig's egg is nice and fresh. And don't forget the orange for Mrs Peach. Right, a peach for Mrs Orange. No, an orange for Mrs Peach. Yes, yes, whatever. <laughs> Hey, hey, you forgot the egg. Hello there. It's the king. Hooray! Oh, oh, I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble daddy, like you lot. And today, all the daddies have to play. Yes, here's a ball. Oh, oh. To you, Dad. To you, Your Majesty. To you. Oops. It's Redbeard, the elf pirate. Which scurvy scoundrel will be shooting cannonballs at me now? Uh, that would be me. Oh, begging your pardon, King Thistle. That's quite all right. I'm just a normal daddy today. All the daddies have the day off. Because it's Father's Day. Ah, I know. And that's why I brought this here card. Hello, Nigel. Hello, Fred. Seen Dad today. Hello. I've come to join in the fun. I'm sorry, wise old elf, but you have to be a daddy to have the day off. Actually, Holly, I am a daddy. I have three sons. Three sons? Yes, but I don't talk about it much. It's a bit uh, embarrassing. My eldest boy ran off to sea to make his fortune. He has a big red beard and he's a, a pirate. Happy Father's Day, Dad! Thank you, son. And from me too, Dad. Thank you. Redbeard, you never said the wise old elf was your dad. Well, pirates don't like to admit they have mummies and daddies. True, but they all do. And that's a fact. Captain Squid! Aha! What are you doing here, you scurvy old rogue? I'm keeping an eye on you, you blackguard, so you don't steal my treasure. Scallywag! Scoundrel! Ha-ha! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you, son. What? Captain Squid is your son, too? That's, that's right! Oh, two of my son's pirates. But at least I have one son who's sensible. Guess what, Dad? I have decided to be a Viking. Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> Food 
egg delivery. Oh, good. I ordered an egg. I've got an egg, but I've got an orange. Have you brought my orange? Sorry, Mrs Peach. Just out of oranges. Here's some broccoli instead. I don't like broccoli. Oh, but it's good for you. This is a lettuce, but I ordered a cabbage. Oh, for goodness sake. You're all so grumpy. We're only grumpy because you muddled our delivery. It's not like when Mr Elf does it. Oh, here. You can help yourselves. <laughs> Food delivery. Bye. <laughs> to you, Ben. To you, Dad. Let's see how high I can kick the ball. <gasps> ben? Hello, Mum. Did you kick this ball? Um... No, it was, uh, me. Oh, dear. This Father's Day game has got a bit silly, hasn't it? It's not as bad as last Mother's Day. Yes, you mummies know how to party. <laughs> What time it is? Yes, it's Mother's Day! <laughs> yes, maybe we did go a bit wild. Come on, daddies, let's play in the meadow. Hooray! Let's play basketball. We'll need two nets. We'll need a referee. Dum de dum de dee dee doo. Nanny, we need a referee for our game. Okay, what's the game? Basketball. Never heard of it. One team has to throw the ball into this net and the other team has to throw the ball into that net. And you can only... OK, OK, I don't need to know all the little details. Let's start. But I haven't finished telling you the rules. Yes, yes. Go on, Ben. Throw it in the net. Nanny, in basketball, you don't say goal. You say... Yes, yes. I'm awarding you five points. But that's too many. I decide the rules. I'm the referee. <coughs> Carry on. Remember, Daddy, you mustn't kick the ball. Oh, I see. I'll use magic then. <coughs> Aha! Goal! You can't use magic. It's Father's Day. What has magic got to do with Father's Day? Yellow card for being naughty. But I'm the king. Red card for talking back. Play on. <laughs> Hooray! Ten points to that team. No, no, that's too many points. Oh, this will take forever. Let's make it easier. What's the ball had legs? Then it could score on its own. Hooray! This is too easy. OK, I'll make it harder. I'll give the next legs too. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons for good measure? Oh, that's a good idea, wise old elf. Dragons! Ah, so this is basketball. What a fun game. Well done, wise old elf, for suggesting it. But, but, but... Game over. What's the score, Nanny? What score would you like? Can we have... A hundred million. OK. A hundred million points to this team. Hooray! Can we have a hundred million too? Yes. A hundred million points to that Hooray! team. Oh, that means it's a draw. Hooray! Oh, what a great Father's Day this has been. It'll be hard getting back to my work tomorrow. Yes, it'll be hard getting back to my food deliveries again. Oh, the deliveries. Uh, I'm afraid it all went a bit wrong today. Mrs Peach wanted an orange and Nanny gave her broccoli. And I think I gave Mr Egg a peach. Or was it the other way round? It'll take weeks to sort this out. I'm quite looking forward to it. I really enjoyed Father's Day. It's a shame it's over. There's still a tiny bit of Father's Day left, Papa. I'll read you a bedtime story. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry. Ready? Once upon a time... A big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and then there was a loud knock on the door. Who could that be? said the princess. 
With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, the pirates set sail across the deep blue sea. Does the story have to be about pirates? Not about pirates. What else could the story be about? How about Vikings? Oh, OK. Vikings, then. The Vikings set sail across the deep blue sea. And on the way, they met a pirate! yo ho, -ho! <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad being a father. Not bad at all. Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play! Wait for us! <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Today's adventure starts at Gaston's cave. <laughs> Gaston's birthday. <laughs> Come on, Gaston, wiggle your legs! <laughs> Gaston loves wiggling his legs. <laughs> oh, has Gaston got one new spot today? I'm not sure. Do ladybirds get new spots? Ladybirds get a new spot for every birthday. Wow, Gaston's got lots of spots, so he must have had lots of birthdays. <laughs> and lots of birthday parties. <laughs> Oh, have you never had a birthday party, Gaston? <laughs> That's really sad. Daddy, Mummy, it's not fair. Gaston's never had a birthday party. Well, I wish I'd never had a birthday party. Oh, darling, it's your birthday tomorrow and you'll enjoy it. No, I won't. This year I don't want a party. Oh, Daddy, you say that every year. Well, this year I mean it. I don't like my parties with the elf band singing about me getting older. You're lucky you're getting a party, Daddy. Gaston's never even had one. <sighs> then give my party to Gaston. I'm going to have a bath. Oh, same every year. So grumpy about his birthday, but he always enjoys it in the end. Come on, let's go and see how the elf band are getting on. Hello, wise old elf. We've come to hear the song you're doing for Daddy's birthday. Ah, yes. We've come up with a good one this year. I think King Thistle will be very pleased. King Thistle is old. Old, 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 and today he's even older. King Thistle is old, 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 old. Very sweet. And I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, will fire myself out of this cannon in the King's honour. But the King's birthday isn't until tomorrow. This is a dry run to see if it works. Light the fuse! Lighting the fuse. Whee! Hurrah! Where do you think he'll land? Who knows? Ah. Oh. I do like a nice, relaxing bath. It's good to get away from all that talk about birthdays. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! <laughs> ah! Get out of my bath! It's not my birthday! I know! This is a dry run! Now, see here! I don't want any birthday stuff! Ah, that's what you say every year! Look! I don't want a cake, I don't want a song, and I don't want a pirate in my bath! So, you really don't want a party? No! I don't want a party! Not this year, not next year, not any year! Never! No! Party! And that's when he started shouting. He was a tiny bit angry. So he really doesn't want a party? No. Oh, dear. What will we do with the presents we wrapped? And the cakes I baked? And our new song? And me cannon! 
We've got a whole birthday party ready and no one to give it to. Um, Daddy did say Gaston could have his party. <coughs> Poor Gaston has never had a birthday party. Would you like a birthday party, Gaston? <coughs> then it's decided it will be Gaston's birthday party. <laughs> Hooray! We'll need a new song for Gaston from the Elf Band. Yes, Your Majesty. And I'll bake Gaston some cakes. And I'll fire myself out of me cannon in Gaston's honour. He'll appreciate it. Not like somebody whose name I won't mention. The king, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the best party ever. What do you think Gaston would like for his birthday present? A squeaky toy. Very good. <coughs> now to wrap it. Spotty wrapping paper. Brilliant. Hello. I've finished my bath. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Relax, darling. It's nothing to do with you. A likely story. It really isn't, so stop fussing. Ah, uh, fine. Mmm. Can I smell cakes? I thought so. What's going on, Nanny? Are you baking cakes? Yes, I am. These cakes had better not be for me. <laughs> They're not. Now, Shoe, go on. I haven't got time to talk to you. I suppose it is nice that they want to give me a party so much. <laughs> What shall we do for Gaston's birthday card? Let's draw a picture of Gaston. Good idea. Hello, Holly. Hello, Daddy. We're making a birthday card. I don't suppose it's for me, is it? No. No, of course not. Ha! I don't think my face is that red. And I don't have black spots. I told you, Daddy. It's not for you. <laughs> oh, yes. So you did. Ben! Hello, Dad! Do you want to help deliver the party invitations? Yes, please! Off we go! Oh, they're delivering invitations for my party! How sweet! Special delivery! Invitations to Gaston's birthday! Gaston's party is tomorrow at the Frog Pond. Are you all coming? Yes. yes! Of course we are. Where next? We mustn't forget Gaston. It is his party. <laughs> there you go, Gaston. An invitation to your very own birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston loves eating letters. So, are you coming to your party, Gaston? Uh. I think that means yes. Oh, how are the preparations going for my party tomorrow? Your party? You're not having a party. <laughs> I know your little plan. What little plan? You told us not to plan anything. <laughs> That's right. I did. Good night, then. Good night. Uh, oh, no one here. I expect they're all downstairs. <laughs> no birthday cards? Where is everybody? Of course, they're all secretly hiding outside, ready to shout, Happy Birthday, King Thistle! Oh, there's no one here. They must be having the party somewhere else. Ah, that sounds like a party. I'd better go and find out where it is. Not much of a party without me, the birthday boy. Everyone is here, even Gaston's brother Tony with Pam and the little ladybirds Amber, <laughs> Emerald <laughs> and Keith. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. 
King Thistle. King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <laughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <laughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <laughs> For me? How kind. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, oh, thank you, Holly. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a Royal Fairy Picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Nanny Plum, prepare the Royal Picnic Basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having magic jelly for pudding? Uh, maybe we should give the magic jelly a miss this year. But we always have magic jelly at the Royal Picnic. Well, if you promise not to flood the entire kingdom with jelly, like last year... Trust me, Your Majesty, nothing will go wrong this time. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please, can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. <coughs> Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone. It's Ben. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the Ladybird. Hi, Gaston. 
Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. <coughs> what did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. <coughs> Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <coughs> Nanny Plum. Can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we are. The royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ben, you can have anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK. Lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Don't forget Gaston. Hmm. What do ladybirds like to drink? <laughs> they like smelly things. That's right. By a ladybird's growl, may the next drink be foul. Ugh. Nanny, you've made it too stinky, even from Gaston. Nonsense. Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year... We made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to happen again, is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew, 
For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Flood! Whoa! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <laughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm, I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm, elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh, very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, always take an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Gaston's Cave. Gaston the Ladybird. <laughs> Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> hey, wait for us! Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Yee haw! <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Here, Gaston! <laughs> Clever, Gaston! Well done! Gaston, do you want to wiggle your legs? OK, on to your back. <laughs> Wiggle your legs. <laughs> Gaston loves rolling on his back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Holly, bedtime. Oh, that's Nanny Plum. I've got to go home now. Oh, but we were having such fun. Never mind. We'll meet up again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> That's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye.
Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. Well, well. On. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. OK. Gaston, are you coming out to play? Gaston! Gaston's not answering. Oh. Maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm, perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Nanny Plum will know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea. Dum, da, dum, dum, da, dee, da. Da, 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 dum, da, dee, da, dee. Nanny Plum, Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm... Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, please Nanny, Nanny Plum, Plum, please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? <coughs> hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. We'd better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. <coughs> No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly. You dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. Quick! 
quick! Gaston's coming! <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> We've come to cheer you up. We don't like it when you're sad. Thank you. We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. <coughs> What's he saying, Nanny? <coughs> Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. <coughs> Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <coughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. <laughs> Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh. Sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant. Sits at Zessie, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Holly's Magic Wand. A lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny, I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. <laughs> Where's Ben? Ben! Oh, well, I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my 
my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic then a hat. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh, Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the meadow. I'm sure I left my wand here. It's gone! <laughs> Hi, Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's wrong? I've lost my wand. I can't do magic anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm never going to find my wand and I'll be sad forever. <laughs> Cheer up, Holly. I will find your wand. How? Elves are very good at finding things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand, you must promise not to turn me into a hat again. I promise. But, Ben, how are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew you'd never find it. <coughs> oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> Can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <laughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever Gaston! <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. 
Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Nanny! Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat Magic Ben a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadoo. Ah, oh, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Farm. Nanny Plum, where's breakfast? So sorry, Your Majesty, but the elves haven't delivered the food yet. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. Ugh. Ooh, smelly. That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. 
I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> The egg. That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing noise. I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Ooh. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic. You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow! Push, push, go, push, go, push, go, push, go, push go. That's amazing! <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the tomato plants. Ooh! These are the tomato plants. Wow! I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, if only we could find a way to get rid of them. Ow, 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 ow. Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. Tomato. Looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. 
I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Holly! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Lally Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum. Could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem. 